Mexican broadcaster with ESPN Deportes challenges Canelo's resume and says why he believes Canelo resume is attacked because of credibility. Ooh. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing, boxeo. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. Reworking. Shout out to Cash App as well. Sign up for ESPN Plus using my link. It does help the channel when you guys do that. And the link is in the description of all of my videos. Speaking of ESPN, ESPN personality, Elos Gopez, David Fatelson, verified account. He's going at Canelo. Now, I know the backstory before the Canelo Kovalev fight even took place. The two got into it like via social media where, you know, David has had some. He's an ESPN reporter, basically, and he's a host and he's critiqued or criticized Canelo's moves and, you know, career, just things like that in the past on his show. And then he took to social media to the point where Canelo before the Kovalev fight, I seen him going back and forth that Canelo responded, you know, and basically, you know, made it look like the dude's hating. But check it out. This is getting real interesting. I told you, new media, we control the narrative. So you have a Spanish speaking Hispanic reporter, and he too is saying the same things, kind of mirroring the sentiments of ego, new media, Eric Morales, people like Chavez, Nacho Berestein, um, Juan Manuel Marquez, right? And he has quite the following. I'm looking on his Twitter right now. He has 3.5 million followers. So, you know, people are checking for him. And I'm going to have to do translation so you guys can see. But you guys will probably have seen, you probably have seen his face, you know, covering boxing. And, and when they have clips, they frequently have like just different people. Sometimes they have Chavez Sr. and things like that. Um, let's see where it begins. Probably that one. Okay, so two hours ago, we'll translate it. It says Mexico has replaced its presence. Oh, no, this is something unrelated. I'm sorry. False alarm. The problem with the career of Canelo Alvarez is that in many cases, he has lost credibility based on the conditions of his rivals. Isn't that his problem? Of course, he chooses them, puts weight clauses on them, faces them when they're already in a geriatric boxing level. Ooh, I'm going to read it one more time. David Fatelson says the problem with the career of Canelo Alvarez is that in many cases, he, he being Canelo, has lost credibility based on the conditions of of his rivals isn't that his problem of course it is he chooses them puts weight clauses on them faces them when they are already in a geriatric you know he put quotes on it like not necessarily like geriatric jurassic you know 100 years old but in a quote geriatric boxing level meaning they're you know faded stars or whatever the case is right he goes on to tweet the biggest problem with El Canelo Alvarez is born after he chooses his rivals. He pays them. He tells them how much they should weigh. He dehydrates them. And of course, he, only he, later knocks them out. So he's going in again. And then he's also talking about what Kovalev said. Bro, I told you this this set of precedents this canelo kovalev golden boy tried it i told you guys new media we control the narrative i told you they tried it with this fight it was too much like everything like the four divisions how they try to sell it the the weaker than usual numbers the way it all played out now kovalev coming out i did a video about it but wait there's more check out the video i did where kovalev is now suggesting that he didn't really care he was 
taking the fight for one reason and one reason only. He's a prize fighter. I fight for a prize dummy. I was motivated by money. It was a type of money I couldn't pass up. And, you know, that was a bad look to the fight. He said he didn't care about medals and accolades. He's looking for an earning. And David goes on to say, the postmortem exam of the last rival of Canelo has given a reality. Sergey Kovalev was a bulge ready and willing to fall just when the Mexican put his hands on him. Look, people are saying very true and laughing. They're going in. I told you. Listen, now you guys can say whatever you want, but I told you Wilder is the face of boxing. You, you see, look, it says four time world champion. Canelo's a good fighter. Look, the dude talking about Canelo got more followers on Twitter than Canelo. Ain't that a trip? Look, Canelo got 1.5 million followers and the ESPN reporter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He got 3.5 million. So obviously he's respected in Mexico and a lot of people check for him. But I told you this was coming. Golden Boy really tried it with with the Canelo fight. It looked FAF how it played out. You know, Kovalev coming out and saying that, you know, this this wasn't my best effort. It was impossible for me to win. Look, Michael Benson of Talk Sport also talking about it. I, I made a video about this. Sergey Kovalev has claimed consecutive camps hindered him versus Canelo. Given the conditions, it was impossible to win. You are ignoramuses since you thought I could win. I climbed into this weight with torment and sleepless nights because it was financially an interesting offer. This is what Kovalev is now saying. So he's saying, you played yourself. Words of DJ Khaled. Congratulations. You played yourself. If you bet money on me that I could beat him with everything surrounding, he says you're ignoramuses and you don't understand basically why DK S A B. You don't know about boxing. If you picked him to win, he said everything was against him. And the only reason he took this was because of the, the money. It was $12 million, which actually makes sense. You can make excuse. Oh, he's just salty. Uh, he did this with Ward and Alvar and Alvarez, the other Alvarez, a leader. But the difference being the stuff he was saying about Andre Ward was he was like, Andre Ward is a dirty fighter, but the ref didn't take no points for him. So those are more more so excuses. The stuff he's saying with Canelo, it actually makes sense because he's saying it was impossible for me to win with all the stipulations, the catch weights, the rehydration clauses. How did you think? I came from three back-to-back -back training camps. I wasn't motivated. I had one camp that crashed, you know, trying to negotiate. And, and I had a tough fight with Anthony Yard, and then I'm coming back. Plus, wait, stupid. I told you all of this. And I told you before the fight. So, new medium. Now you see people from Canelo's own homeland, from Eric Morales to Marco. Well, I actually don't know about Barrera. But Juan Manuel Marquez, Nacho, they have been saying similar stuff. Uh, Chavez Sr. Marquez says, yeah, you know, I rate Canelo. He did cool versus Kovalev. But I have, I, I, I think Mayweather, you know. Marquez said, I, I, I put Terrence, he said, Terrence Crawford is number one, despite the outcome of this fight. It's looking, it's looking so treacherous for Canelo right now, because once again, new media, we control the narrative. At the end of the day, people are hip to the gamesmanship, the golden boy circuit and the plans of, you know, Canelo having like weight advantages. Now, all of a sudden, I see Canelo, who is trying to promote more. Like, all of a sudden, he's on social media. I think he realizes his star power is waning and his numbers are tanking. So now it looks like he's trying to be more sociable. You'll see him on social media. So look for that to continue, which I'm not mad at. If your numbers are, are dropping, then it is what it is. But all this four division champ, stop it. Because truth be told, just like David is saying of ESPN Deportes, is Canelo's third division, not even the fourth one that looked FAF with Kovalev, but the third division, he fought Rocky Fielding. Rocky Fielding, must I remind you, right? Rocky Fielding had already lost to Caleb Smith. Caleb Smith knocked him out in the first round. 
he got a secondary title, which we all know the alphabet title of boxing. There's too many titles available. He got a secondary title by fighting a guy you've never heard of. And then that's who Canelo moved up and decided to fight. However, if Canelo would have moved up, I'm going to show you all watch. So look and all the like all the Canelo man fan. Oh, you're hating. One thing I can assure you, they will not refute what I am saying because you can't. Uh, November 7th, 2015, Caleb Smith fought against Rocky Fielding. First round knockout. You see that? Can you smell that? Hey, son, you see that? <laughs> first round knockout. He was later knocked out by Canelo in the third round. Exhibit A. Three years later. So Canelo fought a guy who we already seen get knocked out by an undefeated better guy who's about to fight this weekend against John Ryder, right? Caleb Smith won the World Boxing Super Series. Look, you see, this was for the World Boxing Silver Super Middleweight title and the vacant, you know, BBBFC title and all that. Fielding down, look, Fielding was down three times prior to the stoppage. So he got dropped multiple times by Caleb Smith, who would later win the World Boxing Super Series in emphatic fashion, knocking out George Groves, who's a game person who's fought Carl Frotch twice, Badu Jack, beat James DeGale, a British gold medalist. You got to know your boxing. And then after the Caleb Smith first round knockout, so Caleb Smith actually knocked out the same guy quicker than Canelo because he's of that class and he's in that um in that particular weight category. And look, the secondary title that, that he got was from fighting, I believe, this guy. Yeah. He fought Tyrone Zugi for the WBA title. And he knocked him down in the fifth round. Like, who is this? Who is Tyrone Zugi? You get what I'm saying? And this is for a secondary uh, title. But the guy who's the real champion is this man. Caleb Smith, undefeated, 26 wins, no losses, 19 knockouts, 73% knockout ratio. He's listed at 6'3", but he looks he looks bigger than that. Long reach. This would be a great fight for Canelo, yet Canelo chose Rocky Fielding. You know, So it's not just the Kovalev fight. This is an ongoing thing. Why wouldn't Canelo fight the winner of the World Boxing Super Series tournament, but he wants to move up. Just stay put at 160. Fight Charlo. Fight Andrade. You know, if you're going to move up, move up for a purpose. Look, this is Caleb Smith holding the Ali Trophy after he won the finals. See, everyone gives Inouye a lot of credit for winning. Well, and they give Usyk a lot of credit for winning. Well, this guy won in his branch, in his bracket, as super middleweight. And yet and still, Canelo did not fight him even. Look how tall he is. Look how long his arms look. That's not the style that Canelo wants. So once again, just like David from ESPN is saying, as a result, Canelo is cherry picking. You know, it's just there's no nice way to put it. He's cherry picking, trying to find like he's not going after better Biv or Caleb Smith. Look, Caleb Smith stops Rocky Fielding. Look, this is Rocky Fielding. This is who Canelo decided to fight. Look, look at the pictures. This is when he fought Caleb Smith. You know, of course, Canelo wants to fight this guy because he got dropped three times. Look at him. He looked clunky and he was getting knocked out by Caleb Smith. And that's who that's he later became a champion through a secondary title. So, again, as I've stated, that third title is BS. Canelo being the three division champion because you haven't beat Caleb Smith. You haven't beat David Benavides. You haven't beat Caleb Plant. These are the certified world champions and the top three super middleweights. Rocky Fielding was never the top three middleweight. So you got Golden Boy is just and DAZN. They are wrecking what Canelo has. Canelo is a good fighter. Canelo has skills. He has a defense. He's a complete fighter and he's popular. And they're squandering all of this, trying to make novelty fights and, you know, go around parameters and just like ESPN is saying, not fight the best in prime and having these weird, like weird scorecards and 
every judge seems to pick him to win. There's no reason why when, when Kovalev went to fight Canelo, he had to weigh in naked and try three times. He just got out of a tough fight and says he's he's back in training camp and, and Golden Boy and Canelo knew this within three weeks of that tough fight with Anthony Yard, right? Everybody knows, every if you look up any write-up from a credible boxing site that was talking about Anthony Yard when he fought Kovalev, you'll see that Kovalev was in bad trouble. He was in bad trouble. Even though he won the fight, he was in bad trouble. I think this is the scene. You know, this is a great picture. He was in bad trouble. And Yard heard him. And he was... I talked to Andre Ward and interviewed him. He said, Kovalev, I don't trust him. You know, he, he, he sells wolf tickets. He talks a good game. But at the end of the day, I don't trust his intentions. And he was one punch away from retirement because he said if i lose to anthony yard i'm gonna retire he said he was one punch away from that so that means he's one punch away from retirement so it's no surprise that kovalev got in there and it looked like the worst version of kovalev and now he's coming out and say he did it just for the bag and stuff like that it, and and on top of that we're talking about a man in kovalev who doesn't seem like a nice guy and is dealing with court cases so, yeah, I I, I mean, if, if the girl that is suing Kovalev, it got postponed to like January. It was supposed to have a, a trial or something in November. And the girl that that is suing him is suing him for eight million dollars. Now, we have to see what the what the judge decides. But at the end of the day, that's a lot of money, you know, eight million dollars. So Kovalev probably needs the money for lawyers fees and the retainer for your lawyer and stuff like that. So. There's a reason people keep making it like, oh, people just hating on Canelo. But ask those same people to refute what you're saying. Did or did Canelo not fight Caleb Smith, who is the the super champion? Just like Keith Thurman, right? Keith Thurman and Pacquiao fought because they had versions of the WBA. One was the super, Keith Thurman, and Pacquiao was the regular. They fought, Pacquiao beat him, so now we have one champion, Triple G was the super champion with the WBA and Daniel Jacobs was the regular close fight. They gave it to triple G. So he became the super Canelo went this back roads and the guy who is the real champion who won the world boxing super series looks strong, looks like has a good style to at least be competitive with Canelo. That's the style you swerve and don't fight. And you fight his leftovers that he knocked out three years before you. And then you just mark it up as, Oh, He's, he's a three division champion and trying for a new weight. Okay, try moving up and weight and fighting Caleb Plant. You know, fight David Benavidez. You, why didn't you fight Zordo Ramirez of Mexico when he was at 168? Why are you not fighting Caleb Smith? Hell, even Jose Uzcadegui looks to be a more complete fighter than Rocky Fielding. And ain't never been stopped and has an amateur background. So people are hip to the Canelo games. And now ESPN Deportes is continually speaking out. Canelo's going to have to fight someone. So the walls are closing in. Like I told you, he's in three people's like three different. He's in three different weight classes. So there's going to be pressure for him to face the best. And his star power is dwindling on an app. And he had to wait for UFC 244. This is how I see it. I know they're not going to disagree, but if you do disagree, tell me what you're disagreeing with. Is Canelo fighting Kovalev when he looked like the crusher is he fighting Shane Mosley when he looks like Shane Mosley and people gave and this is the thing people gave Canelo a pass okay he was a kid coming up fighting Mosley in Baltimore you know Baltimore excuse me and you know these guys were like 40 41 fine at that time at least he was like 19 Canelo's a grown man he a grown man and people are getting fed up with the gamesmanship. And it's not even just the age things, because better be if truth be told, he fought Kovalev in the amateurs, so he's not that much younger than Kovalev. However, he looks fresher. Like I told you, Kovalev was an advanced cherry pick. Better be if just walk through everything that Vodstick with the great trainer and Teddy Atlas threw at him, and he walked through it like a tank, never really was phased, and came and stopped the man who was undefeated, who had beaten Adana Stevenson. That's momentum. That's looking fresh. Kovalev, he was, like Ward said, one punch away from retirement. His own words. Now he's telling you he did it just for the bag. I did it all for the nookie. Come on, you know. 
The walls are closing in. You know, people want Andre Ward. He ain't fought in two years. And I still think he would beat Co uh, Canelo. That's my personal opinion. But I don't want to see Canelo keep getting to fight guys who have any type of handicap. Weight stipulations, rehydration clauses, catch weight, because it only benefits him. And now with Canelo's star power shrinking per the numbers, it's going to be harder to mandate these things. He's going to have to fight someone head up, bro. You know, it's just it's insane. It's insane how how people want to see Canelo fight. See, this shows me that even the diehard Canelo man fans, the radical ones that are going to dislike and all this stuff. Do that. Do that until you pass out. Doesn't bother me. But this goes to show me that even the diehard radical man fans who a lot of them, a lot of the racist Canelo fans, they hated on Mayweather. Right. They all oh, Mayweather ain't this. Mayweather's this. He waited till people got old. They're accepting this from Canelo, who's younger than Mayweather was when they claim Mayweather was doing it, which he wasn't. Right. Mayweather is older than Pacquiao. So how do you wait for Pacquiao to get old? Pacquiao was on a win streak when Mayweather fought him. He hadn't just recently been knocked out by Marquez. That was years before. And then he beat everyone else, Algeri, Rios, and blah, 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 you know, when at the time he fought Mayweather. These are the facts. And now the same man fans of Canelo, they're, they're not even trying to argue, try to justify. They hated Floyd for these same infractions, which really weren't the same. And now they're supporting Canelo. Oh, get your money, Canelo. Canelo's highest pay. Ha, ha, ha. Just a bunch of man fan stuff. And Floyd never did all this taxing people and told them what they can weigh and every fight was a catch weight, made up his own weight class. When did Floyd do that? Canelo fought at 155 for five plus six plus consecutive fights. When did Floyd ever make up his own weight class and added a pound to it? The games are old, picking people when they're older and looking like they're on their way out. People see it and it just is what it is. Mayweather, this proves that the Canelo fans, especially the racist ones, they don't believe in Canelo's skill set because they get mad at me. They get mad at Eric Morales. They disrespect the legend like Morales and Marquez. Oh, they're just jealous and envious. They're getting mad at the ESPN dude, David, for speaking these truths. But they don't believe it because they don't want to push for the greater fights. Better be of Caleb Smith, the black fighters that he could fight in his own weight class. Demetrius, Boo Boo, Andre, and also Charlo, which would be all great fights. They just want to tell you. Charlo and Andre will get kicked and beat up, but they don't want to see it. So that proves it. Plus, when Floyd was 40, they were saying because Golovkin was looking invincible and beating and knocking people out. They told Floyd to move up to 160 to fight him, to fight him at age 40. But Canelo, 30, just turned 30, maybe. And they don't want to see him fight nobody real with momentum like the names I'm mentioning. David Benavidez, etc. Caleb Plant. They want him to have the easy road. People are fed up with it. And, you know, the walls are closing in. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sun and all. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.